This morning, I want us to continue with the subject of following Jesus. Following Jesus. And um, the last scripture we read will begin with that. Mark 8, 34. Last Sunday. Mark 8.34 um, Jesus speaking When he had called the people Let's read together When he had called the people to himself With his disciples also He said to them Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Praise the name of Jesus. Life is about following. Life is about following. And life is about following in two ways you are following and others are following you praise the name of Jesus you are following and others are following you and this is what the Lord desires to follow him and Jesus gives us the standard of following. He says, whoever desires, whoever desires, which means it's an invitation. To follow Jesus is an invitation. We have been invited to follow him. Praise the name of the Lord. Whoever desires to come after me, whoever desires to come after me, whoever desires to follow me, give us in the message version, please. The message. Let's read together. Calling the crowd to join his disciples, he said, Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You are not in the driver's seat. I am. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Follow me and I'll show you how. Praise the name of Jesus. Does that sound like Come follow me, I will make you fishers of men. In other words, I will show you how to fish men. So, in this contemporary translation, it makes it even more understandable. If anyone intends to come with me, it must be intentional. So following Jesus is an invitation, but that invitation must be, must be responded to with intentionality. You have to be intentional in wanting to follow Jesus. Because following Jesus has a price to pay. Following Jesus has a cost implication. Praise the name of Jesus. So it says, whoever intends to, whoever wants, anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. Has to allow me lead. Simply saying, you will have to follow. You will have to follow the leader. You cannot come to Jesus and lead yourself. And that's why I say it's a sacrifice. 
is a sacrifice because in this life there are things we want to do our way in following Jesus you can't do it your way you do it his way and he says you are not in the driver's seat in this life you know we want to be in the driver's seat in this life we want to decide we want to be involved we want to be not even even to be involved we just want to make the decisions we want to make but he says you are not in charge if you are following him you are not in charge he is in charge don't run from sufferings don't run from sufferings i've said this before that the gospel we preached pastor anyoni the gospel we preached those years we told people if they came to jesus their sufferings will be off that's what we told people we told people if you come to jesus he's going to sort you out of course it's true jesus is going to set you to sort you out but one of the ways he sorts you out he gives you grace that will sustain you not to run away from sufferings but to go through sufferings with grace amen he releases grace that sustains you through sufferings Jesus suffered as a son of God in as much as he suffers, suffered in our place it is the same Jesus that is saying if anyone wants to come after me he should deny himself take up his cross in other words dying daily Praise the name of Jesus. He has to die every day. So following Jesus is a life of daily sacrifice. It's a life of daily sacrifice. Hallelujah. So we struggle in this life because we don't want the driver ata wakati mwingine tunangangania steering na yeye anaendesha akielekea hapa wewe unasema a a tungepita na hii he saying allow me to lead you allow me to be in control allow me to be in charge following Jesus amen following Jesus so there is an invitation that Jesus is making this morning to all of us that are here and the invitation is we follow him and when we follow him we let him lead we allow him to lead praise the name of Jesus and when we allow him to lead then the prayer makes sense do not lead me into temptation but deliver me from evil that prayer makes sense because he is leading Praise the name of Jesus. And there is no way if he is leading, he will lead you into temptation. He is going to deliver you. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And maybe we need to talk a little bit more on the leading into temptation. He allows the temptation to come your way but he doesn't lead you into a temptation. 
He allowed the temptations. He allows the temptations to come. But he doesn't lead you into a temptation. And when he allows the temptation to come, if that temptation has capacity to overwhelm you, the Bible says he makes a way. Hallelujah. There is no temptation that has come to you that is not of men. Amen. So this morning my prayer for you is that as you allow Jesus to lead you, you also make a choice. You take risk for this faith. You take risk for this faith. Praise the name of Jesus. There are people who are taking risks for their faith and the, the, the kind of faith they carry is the, the faith that has got no hope. But we have a faith that carries hope that if we take risks in this faith, we have hope in him that he will deliver us. Praise the name of Jesus. He will deliver us. People tie explosives on their bodies and you hear it's because of their faith. And they explode and die and kill others in a hope that they have been promised, I don't know how many women, I don't know where they are going. I hear there's a promise of a number of women there. If you need a woman, get one here. You did hear me. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For where we are going, there will only be saints. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, child of God, we can take risk for this faith. We can risk our lives in this faith. And he who has promised, he who has called us, is so faithful. That when we put our life on the line, he will deliver us. Praise the name of Jesus. When you put your life on the line, he will deliver you because of his name. And we put our lives on the line for his sake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me move to what I spoke here a few weeks ago. If I have to follow, I must trust. Praise the name of Jesus. I risk my life because I trust. If I don't trust, I can't risk. Praise the name of Jesus. And uh, that trusting is in hope. I'm risking hopefully. I'm risking in hope. Following Jesus calls for us to trust him fully. When we trust, we don't have the entire picture. We trust in faith. We trust in hope. We are following Jesus because of the kingdom, isn't it? How many believe they are going to heaven here this morning? 
How many believe they are going to heaven? There are people who are not sure. I believe I'm going to heaven. And I've been going to heaven from the time I gave my life to Jesus. Amen. I've been going to heaven and I'm going to heaven. And I'm not about to give up on going to heaven. Praise the name of Jesus. So when we talk about following Jesus, believe me, I don't have a clear picture. I don't, I don't have the entire picture. I don't have the entire picture, but what I know, I'm following Jesus and I'm going to heaven. Praise the name of Jesus. The trouble I said in following, sometimes we want the details. Give me the details. Yes, he has given us the details. He has given us the details here. But these details, we still receive them in hope. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's why this song that says, because he lives. Amen. Because he lives, I confess tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know oh, he holds my future and life is worth a living just because he lives. This is all about faith. Because he lives. How many people here know about that tomorrow? How many people here know about tomorrow? You are so sure about tomorrow. I'm not sure about tomorrow, but because he lives, I will face it. I can face it. That's what, what, what that song says. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. I don't have the details of tomorrow. But because he lives, my tomorrow is secured. My tomorrow is assured. Because he lives, I know all things are okay. Tell somebody it is well with my soul. Tell somebody it is well with my soul. Tell somebody it is well with my soul. Because he lives, it is well with my soul. Because he lives. Hallelujah. It is well with my soul. Because he lives. There are people here who have no food in their house. But it is well with your soul. Because he lives, you can face tomorrow. There are people here who don't know where a meal is going to come from tonight. But because he lives, you can face tomorrow. Praise the name of Jesus. But it all has to do with following him. We can face tomorrow because we are following him. Amen. Our tomorrow is assured because we are following him. Our tomorrow is secure because we are following him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have to trust the Lord. Amen. We have to trust the Lord. If we are following Jesus, then we must fully trust him. If we are following him. Now, I want us to see a few scriptures on trusting the Lord. And the trusting of the Lord must be fully. Must be fully. You cannot say you trust God and 
I told you uh, kuna watu wanamwamini Mungu lakini wanasema ndio tunamwamini Mungu lakini vizuri kutumia akili kutumia akili Amen which is okay kutumia akili lakini wanaposema kutumia akili wakisema uwe mwerevu kuna, kuna, kuna kitu kuna vitu niliwaambia watu wamebeba tu vitu ukifanya msako hapa ndi utashtuka zile alama watu wako nazo wamekatwa katwa wakawekwa majivu wakawekwa nini ati hii ni ya kujikinga hii ni ya kujikinga hii na kujikinga na hii ukifungua hizi mikoba utakuta ndani matawi ya kila aina na tuvijiti praise the name of jesus hallelujah 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 and i'm telling you things that are all over the place to mifupa makucha ya kuku manyoya am I, am I talking to us and you trust it una trust manyoya ya kuku hello ukiweka hapa kwa court ukienda interview uko ashua na uwezi kumwamini Mungu amen Am I talking to people here? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are so careful who you are meeting in the morning. Fast. The first person you are so careful. Unasikia ah siku yangu ni mzuri. Depending umekutana na nani wa kwanza. Praise the name of Jesus. Have you not heard of these things? I hear them. And people believe that their fortunes are better because of the person they meet. Their fortunes are better because of what they are carrying. Their fortunes are better because come on child of God. If we are following Jesus, then we must trust him. Praise the name of Jesus. I don't even take notice who I met whether it was a female or a man. I met a person. Praise the name of Jesus. I met a person. Because if you think you met a, fe a female, dunia imeharibika. Amen? You might be thinking is a female, but is a man who has decided to look like a female. So are you not under deception? Praise the name of Jesus. Hello, are you not under deception? If you thought you met a man, there are women who have decided, I will always be looking like a man. You actually met a, a man. Are we not under deception? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio tumeokoka tunamwamini Mungu lakini kuna mambo mengine tumeweka haya ah hii ni ya nyumbani. Hii ni ya Hallelujah. Hallelujah wale ambao bado mnazaa watoto mpaka mpeleke nyumbani waende kunyolewa mko hapa Hello am I talking to people here Am I talking to people here Praise the name of Jesus And you trust God Mtoto mpaka aende wapi Afanye nini is idol worship you didn't hear me it is idol worship proverbs number 3 chapter 3 verse 6 through verse 5 through 6 today we just want to zero in on trusting in god amen trusting in god Kama, 
The Bible says, cast is he who has put a trust in man. You see what is, what is on display in this country. Amen. Ebu angalia jirani yako. Ame kuangalia na mna gani? Unaamini yo macho? Unaamini yo macho umeona? Praise the name of Jesus. But you have to trust him in God. Amen. Umuaminie ndani ya mungu then God will save you from others. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's read together. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Do what? Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Let's read again. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Guess what? We always come to involve God later. After we have figured out. You sit down. You figure your plan. And then you, you say, okay, this is what I want to involve God in. And you misinterpret the scripture that says the plans of the heart belongs to a man. Praise the name of Jesus. Before you started figuring out, you should have involved God. You should have prayed. You should have waited on him. You should have, and the Lord will give you ideas. The ideas that are coming from him is as good as done. Praise the name of Jesus. Give us in... Um, a New King James Version, please. Uh, the same verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Lean not on your own understanding. And the problem we have, we always leaning on our own understanding. We lean on our abilities. We lean on our education. We lean on our backgrounds. We lean on our yester success. Praise the name of Jesus. They are, life is about progression. Things are changing day, daily. Things are changing hourly. So the best we can do is to trust God fully on every day, every moment, every time. Trusting God fully. Not leaning on our own understanding. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 6. Give us verse 6, please. Let's read. So when he's directing your path, are you not supposed to fall? Amen. Amen. And that's why the Bible says you will hear a voice behind you saying, Here is the way, follow ye in it. It's directing your path. It's directing your path. But because you have figured already out what you want, the Lord tells you here is the way. You say, mm -mm, mm -mm, that is not the way. Because you already figured out where you want to go on your own. The Lord has a better plan for you. Praise the name of Jesus. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Did he say some ways? Did he say some ways? Why is it that there are areas we want him to, to lead us and some other areas we tell him, Lord, this one I'll take care. You don't have to worry about this. This is mine. I'll take care. But this one, I need you. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are areas you, you feel that uh, he, God, what are to he, me when you are in it, But the writer of the Proverbs 
says, in all our ways we should acknowledge him, which means in everything that we do, he must come at the center of it. Bring him at the center of it. And there are things, if you try to bring him in the center, he will resist. Hallelujah. What are some of the things if you if you you you, you if, if if we were to bring him in the center he would resist? Umewahi kutakasa dhambi? Have you ever sanctified sin? That's a hard one. It's a difficult one. Have you ever sanctified sin? Hello? Umewahi kutakasa dhambi? Unakafanya kakai kiroho kido? That's what I mean. Hello? Umewahi kuwa... Kadambi ukakawekea worship hapo hivi katokea ki Sini dambi tu Hapo mungu anakubaliana na wewe Hakuna Umewai kutakasa uongo Halo Waongo hawako hapa lakini umewai kutakasa uongo Na nda kupea mstari yele ambao unatumia. Ata Abraham alisema uongo. Tuko pamoja. Alidanganya kwamba sara ni. Akasema. Sema tuwewe ni. But he was a sister in the Lord anyway. Praise the name of Jesus. Hello. Umewai kutakasa uongo. Hii wiki. Wacha hata tusienda bali. Hii wiki umetakasa uongo. Have you sanctified any lie? Ma- made it look like it's something okay. You, you know how we want sin to look is okay? And one of the ways we actually don't want to call sin by its name. Tunaitanga tumajina tuengine ambato tuko synonymous hapo. Synonyms, eh? To, to, kale kana karibia akatokei sana. Nasema, uyu ndugu akona bad behaviors. Wakati, you know, bad, bad behavior. You want to look it, it to look like, it's not something serious, it's just a bad behavior. It's sin. How does God call it? How does God call it? Sin. Am I talking to people here? Mungu anaita namna gani? Dhambi. Lakini sisi tunataka tuitakase dhambi. Usiubii sana juu ya dhambi watu watatoka kanisani na wakitoka kwani mimi na mbingu na wapeleka. Hello? Mimi sina mbingu na kupeleka? Mwenye mbingu ndiye amekataa nini? Mwenye mbingu ndiye amekataa nini? It is he who is building his kingdom that is this sin. Hallelujah. Do we call a spoon a spade? Will we not be lying to ourselves? So what do we call a spade? What do we call a spade? What do we call a spoon? Why are you calling a spoon a spade? Ili utakase. Ili tutakase dhabi. And I look at sometimes we who say we are following Jesus. How we, how we drink Say they drink sin as if they are drinking juice. We drink sin as if we are drinking juice. 
We are following Jesus. We must follow him in righteousness. We are following Jesus. We must follow him in holiness. We are following Jesus. We must follow him according to his word. Hallelujah. Somebody said there will be many surprises when we get to heaven. There will be many surprises when we get to heaven. Ask somebody, are you sure you are going? Ask him to answer my you. Sina wakika. Ni najaribu tu. Praise the name of Jesus. Tulikuwa na wimbo, tulikuwa na imba. Ah. Yesu ni jemezari wangu. Nimehakikisha. Ninae Yesu nimehakikisha jemedari wangu nitashinda vita Ninae Yesu nimehakikisha jemedari wangu nitashinda vita amefanya nini amehakikisha As somebody are you sure you are going Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have you ever been in something that you are not sure? Have you ever been involved into something that you are not sure? Have you ever been involved in something that you are not sure? And you are happy about it. You are happy about it. You are excited about it and you are not sure. Psalms 37 and verse 5. Psalms 37 and verse 5. Let's read together. Hallelujah. Do what? Do what? Now, there are things you can't commit to him. You know. Amen. There are things we do and you can't commit to him. Are we together? There are things. You, you, how do I commit to him what he has said no? How do I expect him to make it to come to pass what he has already said no? Lakini kwa sababu tunataka kupembelezana. Tunafanya nini? Tunaikubali. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. And that's why we pray and say, Lord, take over. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Not my will. Let your will be done. Take over, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. And when he takes over, you must be willing to fall. Praise the name of Jesus. Because in taking over, there are things the Lord is going to say, not this one. Not this direction. Don't go here. Don't go there. The Lord will say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will say. If the Lord cannot approve it, don't do it. Amen. If the Lord cannot go there, don't go there. But guess what? We are always excited in the things that the Lord wouldn't approve. Wouldn't approve. 
He will bring it to come to pass when it aligns with his will. Praise the name of Jesus. Is it aligning with the will of God? Is what you are doing aligning with the will of God? Jeremiah 17, verse 7 through 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes but its leaves will be green and all and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor will he will nor will cease from yielding fruit praise the name of jesus so blessed be, go back to seven. Blessed be the man who trusts in the Lord. Who trusts in the Lord. It's only God who changes not. He's immutable. He's unchangeable. Praise the name of Jesus. The people you are seated close, they are going to change. These people will change. Even physically they change. Physically they change. I saw a young man yesterday. About 1998, 1999. He was very young. I saw him yesterday. And I said, is this so and so? He has changed. Amen. Hallelujah. People change physically. Those who got married, you know your wife has changed. Your husband has changed. This man did not have the airport before. Amen. Hallelujah. He has changed, isn't it? He has even changed the way he reasons. Amen. He has changed. All these people change. Physically they change. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People change. When I started preaching here 19 years ago, I was a bit younger. Amen. I was a bit younger. Now I'm getting older. Praise the name of Jesus. I am changing. I am changing. It's only God who does not change. Praise the name of Jesus. And you can trust him. That is what makes him to be God. Is it not God who wakes up in the morning and says, Today my mood is not very good. Amen. It is constant. Being constant. Praise the name of Jesus. God is constant. He, he does not. Amen. Amen. And, and, and let me tell you, even when we grow, there are things right now they can't, I wish to uh, Pastor Wanyonyi here. Na umri wake, kuna vitu wakiona ashutuki. Wewe ukiona unashutuwe ashutuki. Kuna vitu, sasa nikiona ashutuki. Growth, life, has taught me a little bit. Praise the name of Jesus. Betrayal hii unaona kwa hii country politically inakushtua wewe Are you shaken? No. Nisikia siku moja watu wakisema tusidanganyane. Tusidanganyane. 
Nikasikia wengine wakisema siwezi hatuwezi hatuwezi Sasa hii wako pamoja Amen Sasa hii wako Na wale walikuwa pamoja sasa hii wanalia Si watu wanalia hii Kenya na mlienda Friday na juzi kuwasaidia kulia Mwambie mtu wao ni wanadamu watabadilika Mwambie mtu ni wanadamu watabadilika It's only God who does not change Praise the name of Jesus It's only God who cannot break his word All these people will break the word they told you and they will tell you Did I say that Oh yeah, yeah. I think it was a slip of the tongue. Tongue ina unanga maneno. Tongue imekuwa accused. Tongue has been accused. Tongue has been accused. How many times have you accused your tongue? How many times have you accused your own tongue? Oh, it was a slip of tongue. I, I think that is not what I meant. How many times? How many times? I don't think that's what I was saying. So what were you saying? Now say what you are saying and tomorrow you say I didn't mean that. I don't know that I'm talking to people here. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Child of God, put your trust in God. Put your hope in God. And the Bible says is going to be like a tree. You are going to be like a tree. Verse 8. Praise the name of Jesus. You are going to be like a tree. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters. In other words, this man is refreshed. This man is renewed. This man's growth blossoms in the wellness of life. Praise the name of Jesus. And the roots are spreading by the rivers. The heat comes, he will not fear. But his leaves will be green. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I was seeing people who have moved in court and they say in two years, The president has lied 1,900 times. Did you see? Kwani mnaishi wapi? Amen. The president has lied. 1,000. Now check it. It's in public. And they are saying this cannot be normal. So they are demanding the court the court a toy order president achunguzwe kiakili it's, it's, it's there they are in court already they are saying this cannot be how many, how many times did you lie this week you at least now there are people who have been counting the president lies Let me come to closer to you. How many? How many do you lie? How many? Si unajua? I don't know hata kama utakumbuka, hata kama utakumbuka. Utakumbuka zote kweli? There are people who have followed and they say this one was a lie. This one was a lie. 1900. And then there was another one I don't know who who saw that there were there were two things it's on two accounts they have moved to court there's another one that is a bit lesser but the lying one I think is 1900 I think promises promises were I don't know there were how many how how many I I think yeah the the fake promises again are about something there So they are thinking no 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 the man must be sick. 
So can we ask the doctors to check whether he is okay? Because now in two years, 1,900. In five years, we don't know. There is this statement. There's this statement that was made. And uh, I want to see whether you are Kenyans really who are. Somebody made this statement and said, did you believe them? Who remembers who made that statement? Did you believe them? Who remembers? That, you, you, you remember the person who said? <laughs> who, who said it? Eh? He says Mudavadi. Eh? Who said it? David D. He got it. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Did you? It's just telling you man cannot be believed. It's only God who can be. And this is the president's advisor. Who is telling us, did we believe him? You can only follow to the extent you trust. You can only follow to the extent you believe. And we are asked by David Lee, did we believe him? Sasa kama watu wakukaribu na wewa wawezi kukuamini. Sisi tukombali. Amen. Na usiongea juu ya rais, usiongea juu ya wewe. Kama watu wako karibu na wewe hawezi kukuamini, mimi sikui karibu. Bibi yako hawezi kukuamini. Watoto, if you want to know, uliza watoto wako. Wauliza mimi ni nani? <laughs> uliza watoto wako, mnanifikirianga aje? <laughs> Just ask them. Munanif, huwa mnanifikiria aje utasikia maajabu ndio hawa hapa ndio hawa hapa just waulize eh hey, daddy huwa mnanifikiria aje hey they will give you the most authentic answers because they don't know how to say something that they don't know they will tell you the most authentic answers Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Your children are a measure of your righteousness. They are carry a measure of your righteousness. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26. Hallelujah. Trust. Trusting him fully. You will keep. 26 verse 3 through 4. You will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed or focused on you. Because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in yeah, the Lord is everlasting strength. Praise the name of Jesus. Trust in the Lord. He will keep in perfect peace whose mind, whose mind, whose everything is focused. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed focused. On you because it's trust in you. Our trust is divided. And I give you an example. You are busy praying here for an issue, but your mind, your scanner, your scanner is looking around people who will help you. Y yes, you are praying. 
You are praying, oh God. Oh God. The mouth in Asema, Mungu, Lakini Mawazo in a piga darubin. Nenanya tafanya nin? Mudome nasema, oh God, I'm trusting you. But you are busy scanning whom utatumia ka message immediately after that. I know you are saying that verse that does not exist anywhere. God helps those who help themselves. It is, it is from the Bible that does not exist. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. It's a hopeful and a wishful Bible. God helps. No. Wewe jisaidia, ukimaliza, ukishindwa, atakuja. Praise the name of Jesus. The moment you are done, na kujisaidia, na uwanze kumuita, atakuja. But when you are still helping yourself, continue helping yourself. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And this is one lie we use to do what we want to do because we say, Mungu anasaidia, wale wanao, Mungu anasaidia, wale wanao, umetumia marangapi hii wiki yo, mzemo, Mungu anasaidia wale, wanao jisaidia. Kwa hivyo, iba, kwa sababu Mungu anasaidia wale wanao, no, you can't bring God in those nonsense. Praise the name of Jesus. You can't bring him in. It is nowhere. That is your own creation so that you can do things and bring in God later. Praise the name of the Lord. Bibina sama mungu kwetu ni nguvu. Psalms 43. Give us Psalms 43 verse 1. Psalms 43 verse 1. Let's read. Forty-six. Give us forty-six verse one. Forty-six verse one. God is what? God is what? And what? And. Uh, an ever-present help in time of need. Mungu kwetu ni nguvu na ni kimbilio na ni msaada unaopatikana tele wakati wa kuhitaji. Praise the name of Jesus. So when we talk about God being our refugee, God is our refugee. God is our strength. God is a very present, a very present, not absent, a very present help in trouble. That is to mean even in trouble now, you can trust God because God is there. Praise the name of Jesus. Even in your trouble, believe me, child of God, people will run away from you. Unajua troubles nafanya unanuka. Did you know that troubles nafanya watu wananuka? Eh, hey, watakukimbia. Lakini kuna mtu wako present. Just turn around. You will see him. You can trust him. You can hope in him. He will not run away from you. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's why we need to follow him. Follow Jesus with all your heart. Trust him. With all your heart, the people we trust in will one time not be there, will disappoint you. But God will never disappoint us. Praise the name of Jesus. God will never disappoint you. Child of God, sometimes we struggle because <laughs> I had somebody say <laughs> that he's lonely. How many people here are lonely? Is present. You don't have to be lonely. Make yourself happy with him. Amen. 
just to make yourself happy. Hey. You, you know, that there is this thing. Worship team, come on. That there is this thing. Oh, Jesus. There is this thing. You, you want to people around you to be happy. Ukona shida kubo. Hallelujah. You want people to be around you so you can be? If your happiness is determined by the people that are around you, you are in trouble. I make myself happy. I make myself happy. Amen. I make myself happy. And oh, I am lonely. I am alone. What are you doing alone? The Lord is here. What are you doing alone? The Lord is here. And he's present. So how are you alone? And you're saying, I'm born again. Jesus is in me. And I am in him. Why are you saying you are alone? Make yourself happy. Make yourself happy. If you are waiting for people to be happy, you are the most miserable person. Maana hata hao unangojea pia wanataka kuwa happy. Eh. Hey. Amen. So nikae hapo na kungojea ukue happy ndio unimake happy. Hakuna. Hakuna. Mimi nitajimake happy. Amen. Mimi nitajimake happy. I don't know whether people are hearing this. Y young people, are you in the house? Oh, I need a boyfriend to make me happy. Oh, oh, you are very miserable. They are going to break your heart ten times. They are going to break your heart ten times. Make yourself happy. I say make yourself happy. Don't wait for people to make you happy. Don't even wait for things to make you happy. Because some of the things you are waiting for, they may not work. You'll be disappointed. Make yourself happy. Whether they are happening or they are not happening, make yourself happy. Make yourself happy. Make yourself happy. Let, let me tell you, life can be very frustrating. Life can be very extremely frustrating. I have refused to be frustrated. Amen. I have refused. I have refused to be frustrated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible will ask, I think it's the psalmist, why are you downcast, oh my soul? Why are you, oh my soul? Dani kila kitu mungu wa metupea. Can you look at somebody and say, I'm going to be happy? Whether you like it or not. Hey, tell them whether you like it or not. I am going to be happy. Hey, tell them, tell them. Yes, I'm going to be happy. I am going to be happy. When I come to the church, I am going to be happy. When I come to worship, I am going to be happy. When I come to pray, I am going to be happy. When I hear the preacher preaching, I am going to be happy. Yes. I am going to be happy. Hallelujah. I am going to be happy. Even when people are saying the message was not good, I am going to be happy. Even when they say the message was dry, for me, I will be happy. Even when they say, Wimbo ilikuwa inapotea, mimi nitakuwa na fra. Hallelujah. Make yourself happy. By trusting in the Lord. Make yourself happy by trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. You know there are people who have sunk into depression because they are waiting for their circumstances to make them happy. If my environment is not happy, I will make it happy. I say, if my environment is not happy, I determine what goes on there. I will make it happy. Ata mahali watu wanasema hakukaliki. Kutakalika. Ye, kutakalika. Hallelujah. Because I have a God. I trust in God. 
I carry the power of God. I carry the presence of God with me wherever I go. I have the ability to turn around my environment. I have the capacity to speak into what is happening and make it work for my life. I have what it takes. I have what it takes. Praise the name of Jesus. L listen, listen to me, child of God. Some of you are still waiting for big things to be happy. If you are not happy with the small things, believe me, even when the bigger things will come, you will not be happy. Rejoice and thank God for who you are. Thank God for who you are. I say thank God for who you are. Hallelujah. Don't compare yourself with anybody. Com comparison haita kusaidia. You need to bring out the you that is inside. And say to yourself, because I trust in God, and my God will never fail. Because I trust in God, the Bible says he made everything beautiful in each time. He makes everything beautiful. I say he makes everything beautiful. I feel that somebody has to shake off, shake off the shackles of disappointment and shame. We need to trust in God. I say we need to trust in God. Be upstanding on your feet. We need to trust. Following Jesus. Following Jesus. Peter asked the Lord amidst the tribulation, amidst the, the, the winds that were blowing, amidst the sea right in the, in, 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 the, in the center, the middle of the lake. Peter sees Jesus coming and said, Lord, if it is you, if it is you, Lord, if it is you, Lord, call me and I will come. If it is you, listen to me, child of God. I don't know where you are in your situation. I don't know where you are in your situation. It was only a word, come, come. And what, that's what I hear the Lord saying, come, follow me, come, follow me, come, follow me. Do not be afraid. Of the winds you see do not be afraid of the battles you see do not be afraid of what is happening around your life do not be afraid of what you are hearing come follow me and the Bible says at that command Peter stepped out and he began to walk on the water as he looked at Jesus he walked on water today you need to put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. Lift up your hands to him and worship him. Put your trust. Put your trust. I say worship him. I know life has battered you. But it's your time to batter life, to beat life. It is your turn, child of God, to beat life. Life will not have power and authority to bring you down. But you have power and authority to change your circumstance. Yes. You have, you have, you have what it takes to change your situation. You have what it takes to change your environment. You have what it takes to change your situation. You have what it takes to speak into your future and say, because I trust in the Lord, listen to me future, here I come. I come in the power of God. I come in the grace of God. I come in the spirit of God. I come in the victory of the Lord. You have what it takes to tell the future. My trust is in you. Shida bada da da da. Easy can do. My trust is in you. Ye kala bada da 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 bo. I am that I am God. Trust in him. Trust is 
I say trust in him. Trust in him. We follow him. Because we follow him. I put them all in you. My trust is in you. I am I say worship him I put them all in you I put them all in you my trust is in you Come to me. Come to me. 
Those who are beaten, come to me. Those who are disappointed, come to me. Those who have been disgraced, come to me. Come to me. You can trust him. You can trust him. I want you to lift up your hands and worship. Mashia, Amashia, Yeshua, Mashia. Worship him. Yeshua, Mashia. I say, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and worship him. Yeshua, Amashia. Yedarabada, da, da, shedede. Ye kalabada, shendarabada, da. I say, worship him. May you experience the power of God. May you experience the power of God upon your life. May you experience the supernatural power of God upon your life. May you experience the touch of God upon your life. May you experience the release of the grace of God upon you. You are alive. is a temple your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit resides in you and by the virtue of you being the temple of the Holy Spirit I declare wellness over you I declare wellness over you. From the crown of the head unto the source of your feet. I declare wellness. I declare wellness. I declare wellness over your life. I declare wellness over your family. I declare wellness over your business. I declare wellness over the entire life and everything you represent. I declare wellness. Well, 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 I declare. Trust the Lord. We're following him because we trust him. We are, we are for because we trust him. Sheda bada. In la bada. Sheda bada. We trust you. I 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 trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Shade Abadana. I trust you, Lord. Mm. I 
Thank you, Jesus. In this tenth month of the year 2024, Lord, we speak deliverance. Deliverance. We speak release. And Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The peace of Jerusalem is the peace of the nations, is the peace of the world. Lord, we pray for your holy mountain. In this ministry, we connect this altar to your holy mountain. Lord, we draw from your throne as a ministry. We bless the people of Israel. We bless them. Lord, we blaze your holy mountain. We speak well to Jerusalem. Fight for Jerusalem. The victory of Jerusalem is our victory. Lord, we just say thank you.